Hello again, and this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can compute the percentages of Likert type items like this table and interpret the results. So I'm going to be using SPSS and we're going to go to this Likert type questions like use bilingual dictionaries, word lists, etc., and prepare for tasks. So what we can do here is that we are going to go to analyze then tables and then custom tables and I will remove the old items and include the new ones. So we have use uh, bilingual dictionaries. Then so I'm going to move all the items like this and then I need to change the rows and labels can keep columns or we can just keep it this way then for statistics I'm going to remove the count and include the percentage and click apply to selection and close then I click OK and wait for the output here it is I'm going just to copy this table and a passage like this one so here the frequency learners use their own language with specific tasks so as you can see here not the frequency we can change this into the percentage of the frequency learners use their own language and it's simple to interpret the results by looking at these uh, columns here and spotting the higher or the highest percentages you can see that the highest percentage for strongly agree is occupied by doing written translation activities this means that the majority of the respondents frequently use their mother tongues to do or their first language to do written translation activities followed by preparing for tasks and activities in their own language before switching to english so if you have many items you can report just the top five most frequent or most agreed upon items and leave the rest so you can actually rank those items so that the can make sense so this is the way we can even reduce these labels here and make them like strongly disagree disagree etc so we can edit this table a little bit to make it compatible with the APA style and we can have a nice looking data let's say representation so this is how we can go about doing this and interpreting the results see you soon in another tutorial if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media platforms and see you in another tutorial bye for now